So today we are talking about how to create a pipeline of customers. And I wanted to choose this topic today because I actually believe that many, many people give up in their network marketing businesses long before they should. And the reason why is because we don't have a fundamental understanding of how to create a pipeline of customers. So I felt like that would be a really great topic for today. I'm gonna to start with a key question. The question is, how many times do you think a potential customer needs to see you or to be touched by you um, before you make a sale? I'm wondering what you said now. Um, drop me a comment below when you watch the video to let me know how many touches you thought it was. But I love a good mic drop, so let's have the mic drop now because you would need at least eight touches. That's eight times that a prospective customer has seen you before you might even get a meeting with that person. So that's eight touches before you even get a meeting. Now, what about before you even get to the sale? Then we can add at least another four to five touches. And so what we're talking about here is that it can take 13 times of a, of a prospective customer seeing you, not necessarily talking about your products or talking about your service or talking about your business, but seeing you and hearing from you before they will consider buying something from you. And that is, that's the crux of what we're talking about here. And this is why people give up in network marketing because quite often we think that it's as easy as I've opened my business, my business is open, the doors are open, I've launched, I've launched on social media, I've had a launch party, awesome. That's great, that's it, that's all I need to do now and the sales are just gonna start rolling in. And quite often I hear people saying, but I've reached out, I've told them what I have to sell, I've reached out three times to this person and they still don't wanna buy from me and I'm feeling rejected and I'm feeling hurt about it and do you know what? It's all too hard, I'm just gonna give up. Well, the thing is, you need to understand that nobody likes to be sold to, not even you. I don't like to be sold to, I don't, I don't like it when I walk through a shopping center and somebody's trying to shove something in my face I, I, I kind of, you know, I divert my shopping, I divert my route around them because I don't want to be sold to. I'm not interested in that. Um, what you need to understand is that in network marketing, we need to do what is called customer relationship marketing. And the clue is in the title, relationship. Network marketing is about leveraging our networks, leveraging the networks of people that we know so that we can be successful in our business. But it's all about the relationship and getting to know people and then genuinely understanding whether we have something that could be of interest to them or could be something that they need. You simply can't um, shove your products down people's throats and think that that is going to work for you. It's not gonna work. So um, I want you to put aside anything that you've heard or anything that you've learned about go for no, about volume, about um, mass action, where you message everybody that you know and you say, I'm selling a thing, would you like to buy it? I can tell you, because I tried that in the beginning and I can tell you that it doesn't work. It doesn't work. All that happens is you end up having to go back and apologize to those people and say, I'm so sorry, I realized that that must have come across really badly and I realized that you must have felt really icky about me doing that to you. Um, can we please start our relationship again? And then you throw them all the way back to the beginning because you've broken, you've broken the relationship and that's what we're talking about. Okay, so once you understand that network marketing is about creating relationships um, and that Having people in your sphere and in your pipeline is when you are going to start selling products more confidently and when you are going to start having more flow in your business because you're going to stop feeling gross, you're going to stop feeling yucky uh, and you're going to start feeling really good because you're building relationships and you're interested in people. You're helping people, you're giving something back to people. Hopefully you're gaining something too because you um, you know, you're creating relationships and, and that is what it's all about. We get something back from this business and you give something to people, to customers um, from your business as well. So that's what it's all about. So what we know now is that building your business is going to take a lot of touches and you need to be doing this every day. Every day that you miss building uh, your pipeline is wasted. Um, so if you're not doing it every day, you can't expect there to be a pipeline. If you skip whole weeks, you cannot expect there to be a pipeline. So let's talk about what constitutes a touch. So we're aiming to get 12, 13, 14, 15 touches before we might get a sale. So let's talk about what constitutes a touch. Here's some examples. Meeting someone for the first time, that's a touch. Adding them to a social channel after you've met them. Could be Facebook, LinkedIn or Instagram, 
that's a touch. Them liking or commenting on a post that you made, that's a touch. You liking or commenting on a post they made, that's also a touch. You could invite them to an event. You could call them to say hi. You could see them in a supermarket. You might see them at drinks, um, you know, when you're out and about with your friends. You might send them a sample of your products. You might follow them up with a direct message. These are all examples of touches that you will be using to create a pipeline of customers. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is context. So we've already talked about how it's not appropriate for you to message somebody that you haven't spoken to for months or perhaps you've never even met them physically before and say, hey, do you want to buy my thing? That's what context is. So let's say you go through your social media channel and you make a list of people and you come across Anita, who you knew from high school. So you guys were in year 12 together at school. You haven't spoken to her since. You're now 35. You cannot reach out and say, please buy my thing. You just can't do it, okay? This is why network marketing has such a bad name because people are sick of that happening. What you need to do is you need to reconnect. If this is somebody that you hated in high school, I'm not sure that that's going to be your best bet. If it's somebody that you really liked and somebody that you could see creating a relationship, by all means, jump in and go for it. So, you know, you need to understand that context is really important in a relationship. And just like any other relationship, like dating, for example, if you... You know, you meet somebody for the first time and, um, you know, they're, they're trying to jump all the way to third base. You're going to be like, whoa, what the hell was that? We just met. So you need to think about your network marketing business in the same way. You are creating relationships and you need to ensure that you have context when you are creating a pipeline of customers for your business. So um, the other thing I wanted to say on this is if you're showing up on social media, it is going to be easy because people are going to be seeing you, they're going to be seeing information about you and your family, they're going to get engaged with you, they're going to get engaged with what you're doing, and occasionally they're going to see some of your posts about your business and your products. So that's that's another great way, and I'm going to be doing a live next week, same time, 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on how to do social media right as a network marketer. Okay, so back to creating our pipeline then. So now that you know you have to create relationships, now that you know that it takes 13 touches, your pipeline is, is basically where you are in this process with all of those customers. So if you have 100 customers, each of them are going to be at different stages of the pipeline. Some people are going to be at first touch stage, some people are going to be at fifth touch stage, some people are going to be right up in the 13s and 14s and you know that you are really close because They've said to you they're interested, they've said they would like to hear more, maybe they've had a sample. Those are the things that I would call your hot, um, your hot prospects, okay? So that is what your pipeline is. It is quite simply the touches that you have with customers and where they are in that journey with you. Now, I just want to say to you that if you want to really succeed in network marketing, you want to create a big business where you're making upwards of $1,000 a month in your business, I would highly recommend also that you invest in a customer relationship marketing system, okay? Um, there's a couple of really good ones that I can recommend to you. So again, if you wanna hear what those systems are, you can just drop me a comment down below or send me a direct message. I'm really happy to um, tell you what those systems are and why I love them and what the benefits are of each of those systems. So um, yeah, so I hope that today's been useful. I would love you to follow me. I would love you to switch your notifications on so you can see when I'm going live. I do do some sneaky little lives during the week, not just my success Saturdays. Um, and you know, share this with your team. Share this with your, um, you know, other people that are in your business that might be able to benefit from learning about how to create a pipeline of customers because it is a fundamental foundation skill of becoming a successful network marketer. And if this is the first time you're hearing it, I'm going to say to you, please don't give up. Okay. If you need more help, I also have a course. So I've written a blender program, which includes coaching uh, and includes 24 modules about building your business. So with um, lots and lots of great information like you're seeing on these Success Saturday videos. Um, and I, I would love to help you to make money. That's where my heart is. I want every woman who watches my videos and sees my channel to start making money. So if you're on Facebook, you can jump into Shop Now. If you're on Instagram, jump to my bio. It's one of the links in my link tree. And if you're on any other platform or anywhere else seeing me, you can always send me a direct message. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day, whatever you are doing today. And I will see you next week for a chat about how to do social media right as a network marketer. See you later.